All right, so after the past couple of days, there's been a couple of updates related to Starfield. One is with the NVIDIA drivers, which we'll be testing on the 4070 Ti and comparing that back to the results that I got uh, a couple of days ago when I did my video on 4070 Ti. So we have that, and here it is on, uh, I have it, this experience brought up here, talks about the uh, performance increase, and it's supposed to give about 5% performance incre increase so if that's the case where we were i was averaging 60 fps at 1080p we should see like a three uh fps boost so i'm not you know very hopeful anyways this is just it's only been out for a week and a half now so i'm not too hopeful about any big performance increases but on the flip side starfield itself also had an update and it doesn't specify what in particular uh, the performance improvements relates to a specific GPU or just in general for the game or anything like that, but it does say there are improved frame rates. So we will be testing this out in game in a few minutes. So I'll uh, be posting the results from like the average that I got from my last video to compare against uh, what I get here. But where I was seeing like starting off, where for 1080p ultra settings, I was getting an average of 60 FPS we will see what we get here. If we get more than probably a 63, um, 63 FPS, that would mean that more than just the NVIDIA drivers hitting the frame rate, it'll be that hopefully the game is also starting to be fine-tuned for NVIDIA as well. But it doesn't specify if it's like certain areas of the map or whatever. It could be the ship, it could be out in the real world, real world, or it could be in like Atlanta City. I don't know. We'll just go in, kind of recreate the same thing that I did last time, and hopefully see an and yes. Let's get in there and try it. We're gonna start off ultra 1080p and turning FSR off and going based on native results to see what we get. Like I said, I was getting an average of 60. In the last game just kind of running around this area so let's run around again and see what we get you can also you've seen last time depending on where you are in the city you can get wildly different uh fps as well you need to kind of go all over this part of the city Okay, so I've been running around here for a little bit, and we are getting, well, at least I'm getting quite a big difference in the results. So as you can see, we are, it's still going up because of the area we're in, but it was hitting at around 70 FPS average versus the 60 FPS average I got in uh, the last game. So it appears that the NVIDIA driver update and the update to Starfield is showing quite a bit of an improvement over just a few days ago. So that's that's kind of good to see. Still, you know, we're talking about a 4070 Ti and we're only getting a 72 FPS in at 1080p, which is still pretty abysmal. Uh, so we'll hopefully see more improvements. I can tell right now we're being CPU limited. And the reason why I'm saying that is we might be hitting 97 to 98% GPU utilization, but it's only sitting at 175 watts when the GPU is being utilized at 100% or near 100%. It's usually at 220 watts. So we are being bottlenecked somewhere, and chances are it is the CPU. So this can be a little deceiving. But anyway, it's positive. We are seeing an increase in performance. So let's try it out at 1440p and see what performance we get there. Now we're going to try it out at 1440p, uh, again ultra settings, and we'll have any kind of upscaling such as DLSS turned off, and let's see what we get for performance now. So what I was getting last time was an average of 53 FPS after I did my little run around the circle. Let's see what we get this time around.
but like right off the bat, we're starting to see uh, a little bit of improvement again at 1440p. And again, like I said before, we're still not using the total performance of 4070 Ti. We're sitting at 190 watts instead of the normal like 220 watts. So there is still some performance being left on the table that uh, could be used. We're not getting nearly as much performance increase at 1440p as we were seeing at 1080p. I went sitting at 56 versus 53, so we are seeing more of just the NVIDIA driver being a boost. It's like a 5% increase. We're only seeing a 3 FPS boost, while well, now we're 4 FPS. So yeah, not bad. We are slowly seeing some improvement. Let's see if there's any improvement with DLSS turned on. We'll turn solution down seven five. But so really didn't give a huge performance boost uh, last time. It only brought it up to around sixty one. We went from 53 to 61, which is a 8 FPS boost. Let's see what we get now. Same little run that I just did. Try to keep it as consistent as possible. Well, so far, we are seeing 7 FPS increase, but that's probably going to go down. We seem to be in a lot more... Uh, Graphically demanding area. Okay, so we're seeing 67 versus 61. So that's not bad. Again, now we're at, we're at about a 10% FPS gain. Again, kind of abysmal since it's F, we're using FSR and we're only getting 67, 68 FPS in 1440p. Uh, it's a good start. We are getting a slight increase here and there, but not enough to actually make it, you know, and hopefully, you know, patch after patch, we'll see better and better performance. But for first NVIDIA patch, uh, like the NVIDIA update and Starfield update, we're seeing about 10% gain. That's That's not too bad. Right now we're in 4K uh, ultra settings with FSR turned off for the time being. And what I was seeing as an average FPS last time was 31. So hopefully we can beat that this time around. And here's what I mean. So now we're sitting at 99% GPU utilization and it's going, it's above 210 watts. So just looking at the wattage, you can tell that there is, chances are it's a CPU bottleneck that was causing it. But at 1080p and 1440p, there was performance being left on the table because the GPU wasn't being fully utilized and it wasn't hitting like that 220 watts that I know it normally hits when it's being fully utilized. And again, right now at 4K, we are definitely getting a higher FPS. So sitting at around 37 versus 31. So we have two folds. So A, the average is about so far six FPS higher than before, but also the 1% low is sitting at 30 versus 25 FPS um, from the last video that I did prior to all of these updates. So from a 4K perspective, I'm getting much happier with the results because now we're getting at a minimum of 30 FPS, which will make for a much smoother uh, gaming experience, not dropping down to below that 30 FPS level uh, that we were seeing prior to the updates. So if this is what we're getting, we're with 6 FPS, so that's almost a 20% boost 
in FPS at 4K. So that that there in itself is pretty impressive because you're getting uh, a much better experience versus what it was before. Not the greatest, but it is definitely going to be better. So if we go and turn this on to uh, or turn FSR on, what is that going to do for us? So FSR on. Render resolution and back down to 75%. Last game, I was getting around 42 FPS with FSR. And right off the bat, we're starting to see a higher FPS uh, sitting at 48. 42 and even the one percent low is a bit higher at 37 36 versus the 31 fps but yeah overall uh, across the board we are seeing a pretty good increase in fps uh especially at 4k it brought it up almost 20 percent that uh, versus we're seeing like a, temper a 10 FPS, uh, that would have been, well, honestly, that's probably like a 12 to 13% uh, performance increase, which in and of itself is pretty good for the first draft of updates. I'm sure there'll be more to come that will help uh, boost the performance on this, uh, on this game. But for the most part, it seems to be very CPU limited. It's... Uh, and that's what's kind of preventing the GPU from actually reaching its full potential. So I think, and I don't think it should be. So hopefully they'll be able to fix that CPU limitation. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Have a good one.